Well, for 50 years now, maybe 40, I don't know, something like that. I've been teaching people how to take advantage of uh, uh, the government. This is a resource in our country that the rich people all use and the average person doesn't because they don't know how to use it. So that's why Let's Go Help does is teach people how to use the government for any kind of particularly financial problem. Now, here's a, a letter I just got today or notice in our group uh, by Jonathan, who, who wrote me asking for help because... Uh, he had like $3,000 of parking tickets <laughs> that he couldn't pay. He's living in his car. Okay, you got it? So he's living in his car. He makes very little money. He, he, he's a carpenter and he has to get to work in his car. Uh, but he's $3,000 parking ticket and he has to renew his license next month. <laughs> and because of all the parking tickets, they won't renew his license. He didn't know what to do. Okay, so he writes us and, and tells us about the problem. Uh, and it's a lot to read. <laughs> and this is what we do all day, though. That's it. And, and what I do is show them the best possibilities. So I show them a lot of places to get money and things like that. But I said, what you ought to do is call your elected official because they have power over the DMV in your plate, in your uh, state or wherever you live. Yeah. And so I give them a list how to find the local elected officials. And it's, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's common cause.org slash find your representative. Okay. And he said it in that. Uh, so then he writes back and says, I visited the above site. So I started with Elizabeth Warren. He lives in Massachusetts because see, you get a list of all your elected officials. And I started her Boston, uh, her, her in Boston office. So she being familiar name, I called her first. The message you receive is basically not in exact wording. The following. Due to the high number of people trying to reach the senator, there is a chance your message may be overlooked. <laughs> it says to call her Boston office number or Springfield office number if you want to express an opinion, etc. Uh, I'm sure she has someone working for her that listens to these messages. If you were in my shoes, uh, would you just leave a message or would you look? He's asking me now. If you're in my shoes, would you leave a message or would you look for a place where you could email her, message her on social media. I guess this goes for all politicians, not just her. My second question, if I'm trying to catch a break on fees relating to losing my license, do you think there would be someone further down the line who has a little less, who is a little less busy, so to speak, and someone who this might pertain to like state treasurer? Thank you in advance. Okay, now he writes again. Uh, Dear Matthew, oh my God, Mr. Lesko, I wrote an email to every person who had an email listed on the list you gave me, and one of them <laughs> called me back from their personal cell phone. Okay, so that's right. It's a numbers game. That's right. You can't call one person, particularly you know some uh, high-powered uh, celebrity and whatever. But they, all these elected officials, have really you know relatively the same amount of uh, clout over the bureaucracy. So he gets a call from the personal phone phone. They are on the works with the DMV in my state to get me a payment plan so I don't lose my license. I can't believe this. Thank you so much. See, it works. But see, the wonderful thing is about this is that it works only <laughs> if you work a lot. Now, he had a maybe call or write to 10 people or so. That's what it's going to take. You're not going to just make one phone call or whatever and expect uh, uh, to get money. The same thing with looking for grants or anything like that. It's a numbers game. And, and the more you, you know, ask, the more your chances increase. Uh, see, he and I didn't even know about this. I said, check with the DMV to see if they have other programs or whatever to help you. And apparently there were nothing. So now some low-level elected official is able to call the DMV, you know, and work out the payment. So he would have, at the end of the month, he would have lost his home, which is his car, and he would have lost his job because he's got to get there. And this call, or actually maybe the 10 calls or whatever, saved his ass is what it boils down to. And we're not usually willing to go that extra mile. And the extra mile is what happens. Now, here's what he wrote to us and one of our researchers, Sabrina, he says, guess what? I called my state selectmen. I never even heard of selectmen. I guess that's what they call them there. 
uh, congressman and everyone down the line. And one of my state selectmen called me from his personal cell phone. He's going to talk to the Massachusetts DOT and, and get me some extra time to pay the toll fees. Uh, so I don't lose my license next month when my license expires on my birthday. He was so nice and so down to earth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the best. And, you know, that, 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 that's a heart, an old man's heart. Um, well, and, and that's, but more importantly, what I'm trying to do is teach people, how, they don't have to hire a lobbyist. They don't have, these are human beings uh, that are in charge. You're a human being. You're on the same level. <laughs> and that's what you have to do it, it is. But it's, if you don't do the effort, you know, if you expect to make fill out one application and get something, uh, fill out three applications, get it. no, it doesn't work that way. You expect to make one phone call to the elected representative and, and solve all your problems. No, now he may have made ten. You know, but he got it solved. The important thing is how you're going to solve it. You know, uh, and if you're not going to work at it, then your chances really just shrink. <laughs> <laughs> particularly if you go to the, the thing that everybody's using. And that's why when you're, you're looking for more and more and more, you get down to the stuff that nobody's using yet. And that's where the real opportunities are. You know, the opportunities aren't like creaming off the uh, cream and the milk or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't raise to the top for everybody to use. The good stuff is underneath. And that takes digging. So that's what we do. Let's go help us really try to teach you the dig. That's why when you call, we'll show you. See, now here's our 15 elected officials to call. Now you call one and they don't help. Then that's like asking one woman for a date, you know, and they say no. Well, do you go home? Nah, <laughs> there's 150 million of them. <laughs> so you got to keep asking. Uh, and that's what it is. I mean, if you know, it's all you and, and how much effort you put in it uh, will be a function of what it comes back. And if you're using Google to find all this, see, what you're going to do is just find people who want to get money from you to do this. You know? And they're going to charge you money and you don't have that much money. So you think you can't do it. And that's your only option. No, it's not your only option. Google is not your only option you know, because it's there to sell you stuff <laughs> and get money from you. And so let's go help. What I'm trying to do is show you the alternative to Google. Every website we give our members to, to follow up up on will never charge you money. That congressman can't charge you money. Maybe you could give them money. <laughs> a lot of them will probably take it, <laughs> but they can't charge you money because you vote. That's the reason they do it. Huh. And it's their job.